Walking along the Stadtmauer, the town wall, I realized I'm already surrounded by historic buildings in Hattingen, a town in North Rhine-Westphalia. And before I go and show you the Altstadt, the old town, here is the smallest house in Hattingen. It is called the Zollhaus, the Toll House, as it is near the place where tolls used to be collected in earlier times. The townspeople fought to preserve and restore the beautiful nearly 150 half-timbered houses instead of them being demolished. Hattingen has a very intense history, but today it is a tourist destination because of its astonishing historic Altstadt. It is regarded as a Naherholungsgebiet, a recreation area for many people living in the industrial Ruhr area of Germany. I'm at the Glockenturm in Hattingen. In 1406, the town was allowed to make wine and they grew wine in the middle of the town, which is quite an unusual thing, I think. And then they built the Stadt Weinhaus, the town wine building or wine house. And it wasn't a pub as you would normally think of it. It was a place that people made contracts. And when they made the contract and they sealed the contract, they would say, Darauf müssen wir einen trinken. We have to drink to this. And apparently that's where this um, saying in German comes from, from the Stadtweinhaus here in Hattingen. So let's go and explore some more. The only remaining part of the Johanniskirche is the church tower, der Glockenturm, the bell tower. It stands on the site of the Stadt Weinhaus. Here we are at the old town hall, das alte Rathaus. It was built in 1420 and they added two more floors in 1576. It once housed what they call a Heimatmuseum, a museum showing the local history. Now it is a cultural centre. One of the most beautiful church squares in Nordrhein-Westfalen is to be found in Hattingen. The medieval layout is the same today. It is the Kirchplatz of the St. Georgskirche. Parts of the church date back to 820. Although the church was newly built in 1200 with renovations around 1450 and again in the 1800s. graveyard here has been in use since the 9th century, although no longer. You will see a gravestone here from 1617 and if you look carefully you will see that some entrances to the houses have gravestones that you can barely notice on the street 
in front. I shall show you one later. This lady has the best view in the square. Here is a grave marker in front of the entrance to this building, which has been the site of a school since the 1400s. According to the town's homepage, if you go to the Malerwinkel, the painter's angle, you will get one of the most beautiful views in the town. I don't know if I found it, but everywhere I looked was absolutely gorgeous. And sometimes particularly surprising, like this, das Bügeleisenhaus, which means smoothing iron house because it is shaped like one. It was built in 1611 and is now the Heimat Museum. Then I realised I was back at the old town hall, das alte Rathaus. would love it if you would support me by subscribing. I really appreciate it and the like is also really helpful for me. Lots of love from Germany and see you next time.